A 14 year old CC Carpenter is lucky to be alive because of a heart condition she didn't know she had. The Mansfield ISD middle schooler collapsed and stopped breathing during a basketball game, only surviving when a parent jumped in to perform CPR, saving her life. Well, NBC 5's Keenan Willard spoke with Carpenter's family and the woman they call her guardian angel. For 14 year old Sarai Carpenter, nicknamed Cece, sports have always been the biggest part of her life. In November, Carpenter was playing on the Job Middle School basketball team when she started feeling off. I was really, really dizzy and I just felt like really nauseous and it kind of felt like I wasn't you know, there. Carpenter collapsed on the sideline. Carrie McConnell was leaving the gym with her daughter, another Job middle schooler. And I heard someone say they got the AED out. The nurse in me, I've almost, I'm in my 20th year of nursing, so the nurse in me, I'm like, I'm gonna go make sure everything's fine. McConnell tested Carpenter's pulse with the school's defibrillator, a tool that can shock a stopped heart back into rhythm. But the heart rate and rhythm was fine not to shock, so and she was talking to me. Just shoot the bubble. Carpenter was hospitalized that day, but doctors didn't find anything wrong and released her. <laughs> Two weeks later, she was playing in another basketball game, and McConnell was once again nearby. We walked back that back hall to leave, and I hear McConnell being yelled from across the gym. She rushed inside and found Carpenter. Her face is slowly getting grayer and grayer to where I know she's not breathing. Watching the nurse call for the defibrillator, Carpenter's mother feared the worst. When I noticed that she wasn't breathing, I thought she was gone. <laughs> McConnell had never performed CPR by herself before. I got up on my knees and I went to start doing a first compression and Cece took a huge gasp of breath. Cece was alive. She was rushed to the hospital, where this time cardiologists found something, a life-threatening heart defect that she'd had since birth and never knew about. Carpenter has to have open-heart surgery next week to fix the condition, hopefully allowing her to play sports again one day. Going to the hospital with the family, Carrie McConnell, the woman who kept Carpenter's heart beating. If I didn't do what I was supposed to do, Cece could have not survived. I can call her kind of like my second mom, you know. Two families linked forever by an act of heroism. Because one second longer, just one second, and my baby wouldn't be here. One, two, three! JT! Four, five, six! We got me! Woo! In Mansfield, Keenan Willard, NBC5. <laughs> So great to see her doing well there. There is a GoFundMe to help the Carpenter family with medical bills associated with CC's condition. You can find that link to help. It's inside of the story on NBCDFW.com.